Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, check out what we have here on the RC Workstation. This is my semi and trailer for my RC construction vehicle, so I can haul them to and from the job sites or haul whatever I want. Now, I want to talk about this vehicle because I've been getting quite a bit of buzz from a lot of people wanting to know where did I get the truck from, where did I get the trailer from, how did I make the lights flash and stuff like that. Now, I've only featured the truck one time in a video, and that was actually the uh, first day of working on the job site. I hauled in the front loader with it, and uh, that's the last you've seen of it. Now, I do want to talk about what I've done to the vehicle because there is a one thing that I did. Uh, the one thing that I did to the truck is that I wanted to add some flashing lights on there, some caution lights. That way people know that I'm carrying heavy machinery and other stuff, so be careful. So I was thinking about, how can I do this? How can I make the lights flash and stuff? So I thought about it, and I was like, okay, I got a great idea. So on the rear of the vehicle here, I'll move the trailer back. There's the trailer hitch right there, and it has a miniature servo there, a small little servo that's connected into the receiver, which is underneath this box here, all right? So what I end up doing is that since the servo has constant power going to it, that'll be a great power source to run the lights. So what I end up doing was doing a Y connector or Y splitter, or I, I know there's another name for these things, but I call them a Y splitter or Y connector. Now I'm doing this with one handed, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to do this. But anyway, this is pretty much how I have it set up. All right. So I got the one plug here, the male plug into the receiver of where, you know, the server goes. All right. And then the other one, I have another Y splitter, all right? So let me back up. <laughs> so I got this plugged into the receiver, all right? Well, this one right here, it's gonna have the servo in it, all right? Then I put another Y connector on it, so it splits off to two, all right? So this is gonna go to both of the lights, all right? So it's like, just basically like that, all right? So that's how I got the lights to work. And I can actually control the lights with the stock controller just by pushing the button that operates the hitch on the back. So we got our flashing lights. Now, the cool thing about these lights, they have, I think, three or four different flash patterns here. Now, I got the lights from Amazon, $15 for both of these lights. So again, push the button. Change it to a slow, sloping light there. Change it again. We have a little strobe flashing light. Again, we got a fast one. I lost count. I don't really know how much that was, but again, push that button right there. Shuts it off. So that's how I got the lights to work on it. So hopefully that helped you out. Now, the way that I ran the lights was I actually cut just a small little cut right in the middle of the plastic here, or right in the plastic. And then I had just enough where you can put the wires through. And then I used E6000 glue to mount the lights. If you never heard of E6000, it is industrial grade uh, glue. That's really great. It's waterproof, it's paintable. Uh, it sticks to basically everything. It's very, very super strong. A lot of my crawling buddies use it on their rigs to, uh, you know, to mount down their scale items and stuff like that. So, and of course I got the wires run down into the box here. Now this is a toolbox that's actually a gift card holder from Lowe's. Uh, you can get these from Lowe's, Home Depot, and I think Tractor Supply, you can get them. I had this one here because it, you know, it matches the Chrome and then it's got the blue Lowe's logo, so it matches the truck. So I, I went with that. Uh, what I ended up doing with this box is I actually cut the bottom of the box and set it over top of where the uh, receiver is for the servo so that is the inside of it let's get that out of the way we don't need that anymore but uh so yeah that's how i did that so yeah 
Now, let's talk about the trailer. Where did you get the trailer? All right. Now, Diecast Masters, if I said it or not, I can't remember. Diecast Masters has not made trailers for their vehicles yet. They are coming out with uh, a trailer and a new truck in December of 2021. Um, so, Definitely look out for that. They're going to be making trailers. They just hadn't done it because of uh, the whole uh, pandemic and everything that's been going on. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, this trailer right here is a Bruder toy trailer that you can get from Bruder Toys. All right. Uh, and this trailer costed about 100 bucks, And you had to get the whole combo kit, which came with <laughs> right over here. So we got the truck and a dozer that came with it. So, uh, you know. Did away with the truck and the dozer because I didn't need it. Uh, probably could convert it into an RC, but I don't know about that. But anyway, the trailer is 1 16th scale, so it fits the Freightliner perfectly. Now, you do have to do a little modifications to actually make this thing work. And it's very, very simple, very easy to do, and I will explain that right now. All right. So, right here is the stock connection now that is a little button head that just popped down into the that little semi truck there so what i ended up doing is just moving over just like a half inch or so and i use a bolt and screw or you know bolt and nuts uh, so this is it right here so I, I think this is a uh i believe a three millimeter by 16 or 10 i think and uh what i did was just drill a hole Put two washers, two nuts, bolt them together, and show y'all right there. So that's how it connects. So it'll so when I back the truck up, it will slide right in the groove. I'm gonna show y'all try to. So there you go. It shows it goes right into it. Like so. <laughs> Alright. So then I can hook up and go. So that's how I made that trailer work for the truck. And it works out fairly well. And it pulls the vehicle. It pulls the uh, it pulls the construction vehicles around. Now I'm so very surprised about that. It did work. Um, but the trailer is very nice. Very well built. Of course it's all plastic. It does have rubber wheels. But not extremely like high quality rubber wheels. They're just semi rubber there. But uh, you know of course back folds down. Uh, it does have these little post things that's made to hold the uh, your uh, your ramps up, but you really don't honestly need them. And I actually lost one in the uh, first video of filming this thing. <laughs> uh, the sides here come off, so you, that way you can haul more stuff or bigger whatever stuff. Somewhat, if I can get it up, there you go. So yeah. There we go. So that is how I got the trailer to work on the Freightliner and it looks great. I need to go back and paint this thing either black to kind of match the truck. I, I really want to do that or paint the truck a yellow or something. But anyway, it all works. And so hopefully this helps some of you guys out there. Uh, if you're looking for a semi and trailer and you don't want to spend a whole ton of money, uh, this will be the way to go right here. Now the truck itself, I got this also through Amazon. You can get this through your local hobby shop. Uh, Tower Hobby has it for, uh, has it on there, and you can get that truck for about 256 or so. I think it is around around 230, 256, somewhere around that ballpark range for the truck. And then of course the trailer, which is another additional hundred dollars, and just that little modification. So. Right under $400 or so, $400, $500, you can have a complete rig ready to go. Uh, so, yeah. So, hopefully this helped y'all out and, and all. Now, I can't take full credit on the trailer. This is actually, I saw a video of this exact same truck and trailer with the excavator. And I was like, well, I know it's going to work. And uh, so, the person actually told me how they did it. And so I did it, and as you can see, it works, it runs, and uh, so yeah. So, well, 
that is it my friends so i hope that this video helped you out if it did please hit that thumbs like button comment down below if you got any questions and also subscribe to the channel if you have not please help me grow my friends i would definitely appreciate it so that's it my friends so again thank you for watching and i will see y'all in the next upcoming video thanks for watching